What's up, everybody? Dan TML7 here with another edition of NHL 94 Tips and Tricks for Sega players. Today, I'm going to be working on one of the iterations of the shot pass or pass shot, whatever you want to call it. Um, so the setup that I'm doing is I'm going to set McGillney as my shooter for all of them just so I can get a, a good fast player to show you what's happening here. And I've set it up with Anaheim, so I'm against a weak goalie as well. I'm going to show you both uh, both sides of the shot pass, which the one that I'm doing right now is just a straight uh, shot pass right when you are in the in between the hash marks. Um, but then I'm also going to pause it and kind of walk you through a little bit of the setup of it and show you what happens to the goalie during this period. So I'm playing on Retro Arch, which allows me to um, skate, skate backwards, press F5, whoops. Press F5 when I'm when I'm ready. There we go. So I was just barely able to get it there um, on my save state. But so I'll show you what's I'll show you what's happening here. So what you want to do is come in come in a little bit to the right. See, I'm not I'm not straight on the post yet. Straight on the post would be right about here. So I come in a li little bit to the right, and then. Just when you get to be where a straight up shot on your D-pad would go in. So what happens? What happened here is when I straightened up, I was still going towards the left slightly. So if I shot up here, I would have missed the net or maybe hit the post. He drifts in one more pixel, one more pixel, one more pixel, and now I know that if I press up and B at the speed he's going and the direction he's going, it's going to go straight in. So boom, he releases the pass up and be right past the outstretched goalie into the net. So on the next one here I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a better better save state and I'll see how many times I can do it in a row. So on RetroArch F5 saves and F4 loads. So I'm going to come back here F5. There we go. Try it again. There we go. So, it's the fun trick is to try to do it from from further and further away each time. But basically, what you do is you come in, and as as soon as you realize that that you're straight up from the post, just let her buck. Whoops. So this one's probably you know if if you get good at it, I'd I'd say it's about a 75 percent. And and the interesting thing about this one is that this one actually can work okay against um, against a, a manual goalie player because right around here if you're on a breakaway they're gonna start to take their goalie so if you can get that pass shot away if you can get the pass shot away like right here right before right as they're taking their goalie as soon as he switches into his goalie he won't yet be moving and that and your shot will already be going so interesting thing about this one too is it does work pretty well on for forward and backhand you just need to just need to get the timing right for uh, for when and where you re you release it based on what you're what you're wanting to uh, what you're wanting to do. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll go to one more replay here and show you what's happening uh, on the on the backhand. So I go around, I do my little skate, get some extra speed up. Now I decide I'm going to come in on the right side this time. So I'm I drive first of all I drive to the outside so that I'm actually coming coming in at a little bit of an angle here, which keeps the puck keeps the puck to the middle and keeps the goalie frozen to the middle. If the puck was on my backhand here, the goalie might move over and cover off that spot a little bit. And so, but now it brings my directionality driving in naturally, so I don't have to worry about pressing left anymore because he's already coming in. So now all I need to focus on is as soon as I get to this this shooting lane here where it's straight up, and I just press up and B and let her go. Okay. Um, all right. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to ask me in the comments. Uh, give this one a try. Remember, this is Retro Arch NHL 94 on Sega. And you press F5 to save. And then you can just go try the shot. Press F4 again. Gets you many, many reps in a very short period of time. And it's something you can get very good at. So this is my uh, up B pass shot, pass shot video. Same thing can be done going down. Um, same exact thing. I could potentially do another video for that if there's interest in it. But there are um, at least 
at least three other pass shots that I want to do, but this is the first one in the series. So thanks for watching, everybody.